In this part, we are going to talk about the comparison operators. And the first one that we want to discuss is the equal. Uh, the equal, you have to use double equal because if you just, uh, for example, you just use uh, a equal to two, and this will, uh, which imply you assign the two is, uh, the a is equal to two. So you assign the two to the a. So you have to use the double equal to do the comparisons. So you can see three, of course, is not equal to two. So we get a false. And we have one equal equal to one. And because they are exactly the same, so we it will return true. And we can also compare the string. So you can see these two is exactly the same string. It will also return the true. But if you have the uh, case difference, for example, it has capitalized H and this is a smaller lowercase h, and it will return false. But for the floating values compared to the integer, uh, because the values are the same, and it will return the true. And the next part is we are going to use the not equal. The not equal if you're using other language such as JavaScript, you can see this is uh, the same. Uh, 12 is not equal to 3, and this is true. And 12 is not equal to, equal to 12, and of course this is false. And the next thing is greater than. And for the greater than and smaller than, you use uh, this uh, arrow. So this is bigger. The 3 greater than 2 is, uh, is true and two is greater than four is false. And the next part is smaller than, so this is in the opposite direction. Two is less than three is true, but three is less than two is false. So to compare greater than or equal to, we use the greater than equal to symbol. So three is greater than equal to three, Three is not greater than three, but this is equal to three, so this is also return true. Uh, three is greater than two, so this is also true. But three is not greater than four, and three, of course, is not equal to four, so this will return false. So uh, smaller than uh, is almost the same. You can see three is equal to three, so this will return true. And three is not less than two, so it will return false. But three is less than four, so this will return false. Ah, three is less than four, so this will return true. So this is how to use the comparison operator. So uh, this is also, we will use this in the conditional. So we will also talk about this again later.